This friend of mine, Mike, I won't reveal his last name, <laughs> but he's prominent in the comedy writing industry. Okay. Um, he used to get me, he used to refer me to shows. He did this twice. And he'd always say, this is a good show. And, and it was a show like he did. Right. He produced it? No, no, that he did in his past as a comedian. He yeah. used to be a comedian. Oh, okay, okay, okay. And then, for some reason, it was always a disaster for me. But <laughs> he got me this one where it was at a, this is like 20 years ago, called, it was at a virtual golf club, which is inside, and this is pre-internet. Right. And I don't know how it worked, but like there were like these giant screen TVs, and guys would... Fake golf into the yeah, screen? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So there so was like this... Your ball would be a video that... that right. Went, right. Okay, yeah, yeah. Right. So there was an indoor club. And he hired me to do some private show for them. And I meet the guy who's in charge. And he... Uh, Where was this? In New York? Or was it in... Yeah, it was in New York. Yeah. And he goes... He had like a script for me that he... Wa he wanted me to go up not as a comedian. He was going to introduce me under a fake name. This was... You know, as I say this, I realize I can't believe that I said yes to this even... This is how it shows how much I needed money at the... <laughs> Where you're just like, yeah, like, I'll, yeah, I'll give that a whirl. <laughs> yeah, not my name, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll do that. Yeah, so yeah. not my name. But I mean, that's the type of thing that could be fun, where if it's like, if, if you're a guest speaker, and then they're like suddenly funny, and then they go, all right, it's a right. surprise. It could work out in, a, in an ideal situation. Yeah. yeah. So he gives me the script where he's like, uh, yeah, tell them that one of our members got into an accident and, and died in this golfing accident. And he wrote some terrible joke with it, which I wish oh, I remembered. God. And I was like, so you want me to tell them that one of their members died? <laughs> one of their friends. So one I'm gonna come in from the outside. You don't, they don't even know me. Yeah. You're not introducing me as a comedian and I'm just gonna, hi, I just want to let you know, one of your friends who you see at this club, he's, he died. <laughs> hey, just kidding. It's just comedy time. <laughs> so I go, you sure this is gonna be all right? And he's like, yeah, yeah. And he was like, I think he was a little drunk. Yeah. Maybe a lot of drunk. Yeah. And, he, uh, and you're just taking his word for it. Yeah. And I was just like, I was just trapped. And I was like, I really want this $75. <laughs> and I remember the show, there was like, just like nine people in a little circle around me. That was yeah. the show. So that was, even if it was a show, it would have been a bad show. Yeah. Without having to go up there and go, uh, which I did. I ended up going there and going, uh, yeah, my name is Bill Johnson. And I'm just here to tell you that there was a horrible accident. And Freddie Fredrickson is passed away. <laughs> and he gasps. And there's nine people. He has like the people, and they're gasping. But. <laughs> and then I was like. Now, are these older people, or are they like youngish? I don't I think they were older. Yeah. But. Yeah, and I was just. Then I like turned to the guy. I was like, you fucking. <laughs> now I'm up here. Why'd you tell me to do this? He's just fucking like. like why, why would you think. <laughs> right. That they would assume that they had a human reaction. <laughs> To a stranger telling them that someone died. Right, right, like, right, right. They're gonna be like, oh, he must be joking around. He must be a guy they hired yeah. to pretend he's. He's a comic. Yeah. I mean, to pretend he's a. a and I don't remember whether I launched into my act at that point, but I do remember the guy drunkenly paying me. Oh. And just get, <laughs> got the fuck out of there. Well, as long as he paid you. And they, and 75 big ones. <laughs> and you never went back, huh? No, it was just like a, it was a one-off. One yeah, yeah, it wasn't yeah, a yeah. full-time gig that yeah. anyone could get. Yeah, could but it was. Weekly. It was. Uh, just tell them all their friends died. Yeah, I don't know why. Uh, I don't know why I did it. I, I, I still think have what happens is, about. especially early on, I think you just take people's word for things, and you go, "Oh, all right." And you don't, don't want to not get the money, like you said. So right, you and you also don't want to say no to anything. Right, because you're right, like, exactly. "No, if someone's offering me work. You got to say yes." Right, exactly. It's all. Yeah. It's all good. Builds character. <laughs> but then it's just a disaster. Yeah, then that, that guy, your buddy Mike, said you had any more of these gigs? That was your last one. He sent me on another one where um, this was at. This was like a weird lodge outside of Allentown, Pennsylvania, and I don't remember. He was like, "Oh, this is good. They're good." And uh, trust me, I've done this one before. Like an Elks it's good. Lodge, type yeah, some, lodge, but yeah. even weirder than that. I mean, yeah. I don't know if that's weird at Elks Lodge, but it had this weird culty like Masonic type deal. Yeah, it's like I don't. There's something going on here that I will never be part of, and I don't understand why people do this. Right, right. But so I went up there, and it was just terrible. Like just heckling, and just like. Ugh. But I was. It was right before I went on. I was. Hey, there's no assholes here. It's like okay. Oh, they they made a point to tell you. Yeah, that. he's like they're good guys, no assholes. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Well, I I would guess the ninety percent of the audience that's yelling at me. <laughs> they're the I'm gonna put them in the asshole category. 
And then I went up there and I did it and it was terrible. And I, I even did something at the end where I never do, where I told like a street joke. Yeah. Where I just said, I'm going to give you a street joke, which I don't remember which one I did, but it was. Yeah. I didn't like any which reaction. is like the worst thing to do. Yeah. Because it's just, but it was just more of a survival thing. Right, 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 right. And just I, to get out of there. Yeah, and I did it and uh, told the street joke. And then for some reason, I had this real defiant attitude where like, I'm not going to just go to my motel now. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna go out into the bar and intermingle with these guys who just gave me a hard time. <laughs> I had that work out. It was a little creepy. This guy, who, I think he was hitting so, on it me. It sounds like a situation where like you might might have gotten into a, they like could have been a fight. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, I think that's it, how drunk they probably were. Like, I think they were. It was a thing where they like, where it was just like two boxers hugging after they beat the shit out of each other. Right. Was, ah, that was all good fun, right? Wasn't? Yeah. It? Not really. I took, <laughs> no, a, no, took yeah. a Greyhound <laughs> bus to the middle of nowhere to be yelled at by. <laughs> 70 weird dudes. <laughs> and you would you say one of the guys? Yeah, one of the guys was sort of seemed like he was hitting on me. I was like, hey, he kept talking. Hey, this is that was good. Don't worry. And then he like slips me his card and he was like an ophthalmologist. It's like, yeah. Oh, yeah, that sounds it's like, weird. I, like, I don't know that I'm going to come to Pennsylvania <laughs> to go on a date for the you. eye appointment. <laughs> I don't yeah, think I'm going to recreate this. But let's see. I live in New York. Where there's, I think there's 35,000 <laughs> ophthalmologists. But let me uh, <laughs> let me uh, just go to this guy. Yeah, I think he was with a group of people who were really shitty to me. <laughs> let me hop on a bus and get an eye exam. <laughs> but I remember the guy paid me afterwards, and he's like, "Hey, I guess a deal's a deal." Like he's like reluctantly like, "Yeah, it is a deal. You should be giving me more money after what you just put me through." Yeah, it's like fuck you. Yeah, that's why most one nighters are. I feel like that's just that's just like the nature of the beast, and nobody ever gets it. They never get that they shouldn't have comedy at these things, but it's always this, it's just this cycle where they have comedy and then comics well, go I mean, for the money. To be fair, though, not to be fair, but to be more forthcoming, I, there was probably a comic who was like a you know. Yeah, like yeah, some yeah. wacky big guy who took over. It might, basically, they, hiring me was the mistake. <laughs> oh, that's, that's what it was. All yeah. right, all right, all right. <laughs>